judgment. Okay, we moved, we finished with the observe of the conduct. We done the observation, the interview, and the written test. Now, the first thing that we need to do is when you start with judgment, that is where you sit back, the assessor sits back and he says, okay, there was different test papers, different instruments. Let me now see if the learner is competent or not yet competent. So I want to go here to the real document because it shows a bit bigger. There we're going to see it. So the first thing that I need to confirm on a judgment is that all the test papers or all the instruments were completed. It's going to be a big uh, boo-boo if you de declare a learner competent and then you discover that there's one of the test papers that was never done. So we can't afford that. So that's where I'm going to carry it over here. I'm going to say the observation, the instrument here. I see here my document is already completed now here. But that's why you're going to say from, if I'm going to go back, let me go back on my, my document to the judgment sheet. I just want to make it a bit smaller here. If I sit here on the written test, the learner did not meet the requirements and no. Then I'm going to tell it also here on the instant and the judgment. I'm also going to say no here. So I'm just going to carry everything over. And then we get to these ones here at the top. It might show a bit different on my screen now. And that is called va uh, the VAX. Uh, and we are going to evaluate the evidence, the ev evidence that we received from the learner to say, do we think the evidence, when you assess the learner, what the, the, you know, the responses the learner, what he gave to you or what you collected from him, was it relevant? Was it valid? Do you think it was authentic, current, consistent, and sufficient? So because I have a no year, you will definitely be across here somewhere. I think most of the cases, it will be sufficient. Sufficient will be across. Um, sometimes maybe also current and consistent. You can decide, you know, look at why. Why did the learner uh, not meet the requirements? And um, then decide. You can only have corrections right through here if there's a yes here on the side. If there's no yes here, then you can't have it. So one no, then there must be a cross here and exactly the same here. So we've done our summary so we can see what was the scoring. And obviously, sorry for this poor learner, but I see it's a no and a no and a no. So he definitely, definitely did not meet the requirements. So this learner will unfortunately be not yet competent. You can see they've already got a no in there. And it says the learner is not yet competent in this block here. So this learner will, unfortunately, you can only be found competent if you've got yeses all over. Again, what's important from a judgment? Judgment is like a speeding fine. You know, when you get a speeding fine, all the details is on there. From your car, the driver, the time of the day, everything. Yeah. So it's the learner, the assessor's details, the summary of how they did, the unit standard details, NCAP credits, the outcome, the date of the signature, um, you know, all that details needs to reflect on the judgment.